All right. What's that? I'm getting it from here. Welcome to Thursday Night Life Music, my friends. Mm. Tonight's going to be a good one. I've been excited about this one for quite a while. I know I say that every time, but this is true. This is going to be like a private concert from a virtuistic piano player, uh, composer. Her name is Marta Sanchez, and she'll be joining us. She'll be joining us here for, for an hour uh, or some. Um, and she's talking about being doing an improvised set. I'm always doing an improvised set, so we're going to be right there in tune with each other. Um, fun thing is we've never met. Uh, we just know each other from mutual friends. Uh, I asked her many months ago, plan this ahead. She said yes. It fits into what uh, she has going on. And uh, shortly, um, I'm going to see if she's around or we're going to uh, get a little thing going. Marta is fantastic. She's got some great records out. Uh, and uh, Partanika is a uh, is one I'm really into. Marta, hello. hello. How are you? I'm all right. Very good. Very good. I'm very excited about tonight. <laughs> um, I've been listening to your music for the last few weeks, and I feel a little bit like this is going to be a, a private concert for me, but we get to share it with everybody, which is very nice. <laughs> Marta, before we start, uh, you were just getting off of a residency for at the, uh, the McDowell, yes? Uh, do you feel like just saying a few phrases about that and how it was more, more to me, not what you're working on, but more like the, the emotional takeaway from yeah. this experience. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, it's special to be in the woods, you know, in the nature for, for one month, mostly after spending a whole year, you know, at my apartment in Brooklyn. Yeah. Um, but also has been interesting because there are a lot of COVID restrictions at Madawi right now. So the first 10 days we had to do quarantine and we really didn't see other artists because we weren't really allowed to, you know, yeah. to gather. And uh, it was a little bit like even more special because it was a little bit lonely, you know, to be by yourself, completely by yourself for, for... Then, then, you know, after we quarantine and we all got tested and whatever we, we just start hanging in and you know and me you know the artist and everything and it was a little bit more social but yeah but at the time was pretty um uh, it's by myself <laughs> yeah yeah i'm i'm really looking forward to whatever you were working on for that month and i'm sure you're going to share that at some point or just sort of let, let the public know uh what you've been doing and i just speaking for us we're excited you know yeah uh, just to see what what fruit came from uh, from that stay, you know. You were at McDowell as well, right? What's that? You 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 did that residency, right? No. Or no? No. no. 
No, but uh, maybe someday, you know, who knows? <laughs> Marta, you and I know the main person that I think we know that sort of connects, this is how it connects me to you, is uh, our, our good friend, Caroline Davis. And, and we can say, we could talk about Caroline Davis for an hour if we wanted to. <laughs> right? She's fantastic. Uh, oh, there she is. Yes, yes. Caroline, how are you? <laughs> I want to thank you both for inviting me to the uh, Art is Live uh, series you all were doing. Um, really, when the pandemic kicked off and we were all feeling very weird, you know, about what's going to happen. We didn't know how long it was going to be. And you all put together a great series, really. It was very special. So thank you for that. Thank you for being part of this series, Sam. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was, it was, it was great. It, was, it, it, felt, it felt like we were all a part of something very special. And I mean, it was, we love you too, Caroline. It was like, it was like, it was like hugging when we couldn't hug, you know? Yeah, you know, I that like was, that. You know, yeah. that was very cool. And, uh, and some good relationships, you know, came from that. Um, and it's documented too, you know? Another thing, uh, Marta, you and I have in common before we get into the uh, improvised music and painting, um, we both sort of started off with a film background, right? Yeah. And somehow- yes, I, I didn't know that you did too. Yeah, yeah. And we, we found ourselves uh, involved with jazz for some reason, but uh, you know, film is very structured and takes a lot of people to do it. Exactly. Um, you know. That's was the reason why I, why I decided to, you know, to go with music instead of cinema because, you know, because all the process is really long, involves a lot of people that, you know, and you need money also, like, to, to you know, the, a project takes like years, you know, to... Yes. to since you write up a uh, script until you have the product, you know, it's like kind of like, and in the end, the final product might be super far away from your idea because because of that, because of the whole process, the money, the people involved, you no, know, and music is just like in the moment you just can you know can create by yourself, or you can call some musicians and create music in the moment. It's just in the moment you don't need any money, you know, to make right. it happen. <laughs> I thought it was more like, I mean, I love cinema and I love film, you know. But I do too, I do too. But I feel like we have the same experience that though I think this is more, <laughs> more like immediate, you know. Yes, yes, it's, it's more, it's more satisfying when I was doing film and I did animation for years too uh, in, in New York. And, you know, animation is you're working on one second for months. Uh, even more intensive sometimes than, than live, live action film. Um, and so in the evenings I would be doing graffiti and like my, my arms had to do this because I was doing this all day, you know. Um, you, went to, uh, you went to NYU, yes? Yes. Yes, I, that's me too. So we have that, do you have any comment too? I, do, I went to NYU for, for jazz piano performance, not for singing. Right, 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 that's right, yeah. How, how, what? how was that? How how was how was NYU for for jazz piano? I mean, they have like really good teachers, like really great musicians. Yeah. Teaching over there, and um, I mean, I met some of my best friends in New York over there, so it was good. It was, good. It was a good experience for me. That's good. That's great. Any chance there's some of the band members on your records now, or or no? No. no. <laughs> no. Well, I, I do love the records that you're putting out now. I think I was mentioning before, um, see if I'm saying this right, uh, Partanika. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love that record. I really do. It, it's, it bounces for me, you know, and, uh, but not like bounces sort of like that, that shakes you off your feet. It's, it's got a, it's a pleasant bounce to me. So thank you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, this is Thursday Night Life Music. Um, my guest tonight is the amazing Marta Sanchez. And Marta's going to do her magic, and I'm going to try to follow through with whatever I can do. Um, what do you have planned for us tonight, Marta? 
I'm just gonna improvise, so I'm, you're gonna follow me and I'm gonna follow you. So I didn't wanna play anything because I wanna improvise, also I wanna improvise depending on where you're painting. You know? Oh yes, yes. True collaboration, you know. Okay. That's right. And it's kind of like, well, we're, we're making like a little film tonight. So we're kind of going back to our roots in some ways. Yes, but more immediate. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's just the way we like it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give the floor to Marta. And uh, Caroline's going to sort of watch us do our thing. Thank you for joining us, folks. And uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Maybe let me see if I can put the camera at the piano. Can appear. That's okay. See, we're st we're starting already. This is the kind of filmmaking I like. <laughs> That's perfect. Beautiful.
Martha, that was so beautiful. Thank you. That's so beautiful too. Thank wow. you so much. Oh, that was so much fun. Yeah, what is Martha, this this was like the music was a separate entity that was telling me what colors to use. You know, oh. you know, doing my <laughs> This is yeah. this is when when the uh, when the music is doing its job for me, you know, and I get this sort of like this feeling of like, oh, I just get I just get to be here, you know. This is this is beautiful. Um, I got a little closer here. It's a portrait, of course. I uh, got that in there a little bit uh, because you have. Uh, I was also trying to use my animation background here and getting getting your fingers. Oh wow. <laughs> they were yeah. they were working a lot. Nice. You know. Um filmically it's like trying to uh you know do a painting that's supposed to represent what just happened in the last 45 minutes, you know, half an hour, which layers and layers and layers and layers together. Does it does it still work? Does it still look good? Is it too much? You know, no. you know. No, no. No, no. It's 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 almost like watching a watching a film in, you know, watching it all together at the same time. Definitely has a lot of movement. Yes, well, you, that's I, I kept looking back and forth, and you know, sometimes I just get you know a knuckle or a shape, you know, a shape of your inside your hand here or something like that. Um, and that was, that's, that's beautiful. It's like, uh, it's impossible, you know, <laughs> but th that's what makes it fun. Yes. So I think it was possible for you. Wow. Now with the skip, I, I'm looking like that because sometimes with the colors and whatever, it's like, wow, it looks like it's moving. Actually. Well, I, I do have some lights going on up here. There's some, yeah. you know, there's some, there's some weird lights, but, uh, um, Marta, what's was very exciting about this too was I'm listening to your records and I, I love the band. I love what's going on. But oftentimes I was like, okay, I just want to hear Marta play. You know, this is just me personally, you know, like I want to hear, I just want to hear. And so tonight was like, I'm going to get this, you know, I'm going to hear you, you, you're no, no offense to the band, great band, <laughs> but I wanted to hear you because. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. But you're you're a very generous player. Um, even if you are leading the band and your, your your compositions, you really let you know you let the saxophone do his thing, and you let you know you let the other band members work their magic, and you I'm not saying you get out of the way, but you you let them do their job, and it sounds very good that way. Um, which is it's I guess that's that's part of your personality that comes out. You know, that, that means, okay, she must be a very generous person. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> but that was just very beautiful and very, uh, just the, the virtuosity, it, it, it keeps coming in my, my brain, that word. Um, <clears throat> and it was, uh, there, was, there was a little bit of suffering in there too, which is good. I like that. You know, give, give me a little, you know, every, everything is beautiful up to a certain point. Exactly. Because <laughs> that's life, right? Exactly. And also there is beauty also on the suffering, right? And in the darkness. And uh, right? they come beautiful. That's right. That's right. I think we learned that especially this last, this last year when there was a lot of, you know, a lot of isolation. A lot of you know you can't you can't say hi to your friends you can't hug, you can't love in the way that you're used to loving you know, yeah. Yeah. and that can get frustrating and I I think about those that uh, are still struggling with that, but I think it also makes us really enjoy what we have, you know, like yeah. uh, I don't know yeah. enjoying like yeah. being able to do this tonight just very much enjoy these kind of collaborations where 
Um, no, I was, every time that I had a chance to play last year, it was like I always, it was, I realized how precious was every, every opportunity, right? It was yeah. normally, I have a link, I have a link, I have a link. And last year I was like, wow, I, you know, it was like so precious and so special, you know, to be able to play with someone. Were, were you playing with nature when you were out of the McDowell I, thing? Well, no, the thing is I play the piano is inside of the cabin, right? So so I cannot bring the piano outside. But uh, but yeah, I mean the sounds of the nature are obviously over there and you can hear the, they they have like this kind of like birds that I don't remember the name, but they, they sing so clearly, melody super clearly and they are there all the time. That, it must have been nice. I mean, Brooklyn has birds too, but uh, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not the same. It's like silence. It's like really, there is silence and then just the nature and the sounds, you know. So yes. Where you can hear way more clearly everything, right? Right, right. And, you know, and silence is just as important as music in so many ways. Uh, you know. I mean, it's part of music. Very much, very much. If you take away silence, it's just, you can't, you can't, it's, it's too much, you know. So it's very good, very good. Marta, thank you so much for, for being here tonight. Um, what can I say, ladies and gentlemen, this has been, this has been fantastic. I'm, I'm sort of light as a feather right now. Um, I, I feel purposeful, like, like, this is this is my purpose is to hang out with Marta Sanchez tonight and and make a painting and listen and and share it with with all you folks. I hope you all enjoyed this, um, ladies and gentlemen. I would encourage you all to uh, to hit up Bandcamp. That's where I'm familiar with with Marta's work. Uh, she's got three albums there. Um, you can actually get sheet music too. I got some of that. Yeah, Caroline gave me the idea. <laughs> it's a good idea. I mean, also some people ask me, it's like here and there people ask me for my charts. So, so I was like, well, you know, yeah, they are, I want, want them, you know, they can get them. Otherwise people have to transcribe your music by listening. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, I guess <laughs> if they want to play my music in case they want to play my music. <laughs> well, they will be, they will be. <clears throat> Well, Marta, thank you so much. I look forward to to seeing to, to seeing the flowers and the fruits that come um, that you're sort of like you have with you from this residency. Um, whatever you feel like sharing with us, we will just we will drink it up. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me. It of course, <laughs> this was fun, ladies and gentlemen. This is Thursday Night Life Music. I'm your host, Louis Sockenbach, and this has been the beautiful Marta Sanchez, and she just gave us a gift. And uh, enjoy it, folks. It'll be here for a while. Thank you so much, Marta. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Beautiful.